In this video, we're going to look at classifying things as being either living or non-living. This is the simplest way that we can classify things, and it allows us to then break these two categories down into smaller groups later on, smaller and more specific. Most things are very, very obvious whether they're alive or not. Uh, however, some can pose a little bit of a problem. So to deal with this, we have a checklist to see whether something's living or not. And to remember how this checklists, we use the mnemonic Mrs. Gren. So Mrs. Gren is a hippie gardening lady, so she's got a green thumb, and she looks after all the living plants in her garden. And this mnemonic stands for movement, respiration, stimuli, grows, reproduces, excretes, and nutrition. And what I'll do now is I'll go through each of these individually and explain them. So movement, that it moves in some way. And this doesn't have to be like animals move uh, consciously around. Uh, this can also be, for example, in plants, phototaxis, where plants move to get closer to the light. Uh, or in some plants where they actually move to follow the sun throughout the day so that they're always facing the sun, getting the most amount of sunlight for photosynthesis. Respiration. Uh, in this case, we're looking at respiration on a cellular level, which is using oxygen and sugar to produce energy uh, within the cells. However, most things that uh, undergo cellular respiration, also breathe in some sort of way because they need to get that oxygen into their body. Stimuli, so it senses and responds to stimuli and some plants will actually curl up during the night and then during the day when the sun comes out they'll move their leaves in a way that they face the sun and get as much light as possible. Growing is pretty self-explanatory. It gets bigger over time. Reproduces, it produces offspring. And this can either be sexually, as occurs in animals and plants, or asexually, which also occurs in some plants, but as well in bacteria and fungi. Excretion or excretes is where it expels waste products from the body. And nutrition is gaining nutrients from the environment. So in some way, all living things uh, gain nutrients from the environment, whether they eat them or absorb them. Uh, in some way, they get nutrition from the environment. Okay, so we've looked at Mrs. Gren, who teaches us when, which things are living and uh, shows us the common things that all living things have in common and that is that they move in some way that they respire on a cellular level that they sense and respond to stimuli that they grow that they reproduce and produce offspring that they excrete waste products and that they absorb nutrients from their environment